As we witness the scene unfold, Lady Seif grants the Allfather Thor the ability to see through her eyes, showing him the horrors and dangers she has witnessed. The recently destroyed Rainbow Bridge to Asgard is being reconstructed, and its power is being harnessed. This reconstruction process is draining the life force from the Tree of Yggdrasil, affecting the power of all the Ten Realms. Instinctively, Thor takes flight through space, to the one place where he believes he stands the best chance against any threat, the realm of the Avengers. He searches for his friends, hoping to find their aid against the new threat named Mythos. However, to his dismay, he finds no response. Realizing he is alone in this battle, Thor faces Mythos, who reveals how he collected and mastered the broken pieces of the Bifrost, gaining the full power of the World Tree. He has now conquered Earth and erased the memory of heroes, claiming that he deserves this power unlike Thor, who was handed his abilities. Thor vehemently disagrees, stating that Mythos deserves only destruction. Despite all his anger and power, Thor finds himself outmatched and is forced to retreat under the guidance of his father's voice in his head. Although he tries to convince himself it's a strategic decision, doubts linger as he withdraws into the shadows. In the midst of his retreat, Thor encounters an old friend, Peter Parker, who is being attacked by a mugger. In a simple act of bravery, Peter Parker stands up for an elderly and defenseless couple when a criminal threatens them and the criminal running side of Thor as the Allfather points his direction to the friendly neighbor and tells him, I know you. He realizes that Peter has no knowledge of who he is, but he explains that in this world, there are no heroes or friends to call upon. However, he believes Peter might be the champion this place needs. Despite Peter's protests, Thor assures him that he's the right person for the task. Peter shows Thor his modest living arrangements and explains the challenging and strange nature of their world. People like him work regular jobs, follow the rules quietly, and hope to one day ascend to work in the palace. Thor wants to make sure Peter understands that his life has been filled with hardship and suffering, and the only way to escape it is to avoid trouble. Despite this, Peter refuses to stand by while others suffer and believes in making an effort to help even if it means taking a punch to the face. Thor questions whether he would still fight even in the face of failure. Peter replies that the battles they can't win are the most important ones to fight, and inspired by his determination, Thor makes a decision Odin would never have made. He rushes back into battle, knowing he's severely outmatched, but determined to protect those who rely on him. Thor relentlessly attacks, even though the power of the World Tree the Allfather and the Rainbow Bridge have been stolen from him. His unshakable belief in himself and his will to keep fighting proved to be his true power. With one powerful swing of his hammer, he brings down Mythos' perfect world, restoring the Ten Realms to their rightful state. Now transformed into just regular old Modok, he pleads with Thor to bring down the Allfather's justice. But instead of following Odin's path of punishment, Thor chooses a different approach. He reaches into Modok's mind, giving him something he lacked before the ability to question himself. As Thor sits on the throne of Asgard, he hopes to find the answers he has been seeking, realizing that his true strength lies within himself and his determination to protect others.